welcome back to my channel today's video is a good old-fashioned haul video i feel like i haven't done a good old-fashioned haul in over a year so i am happy to be doing this video today um i picked up mostly everything that i picked up is from ulta and a couple of things are from hb beauty bar because they sent me the email so I went on the site and ordered and what I ordered from HB Beauty Bar are the two new LA Girl Pro palettes so you have the LA Girl Pro Artistry and the LA Girl Pro Mastery palette these palettes are absolutely beautiful and I will open it up and this is the first time I'm like looking on the inside to make sure my stuff is okay but this is what the Pro Mastery palette looks like. This one is right up my alley with the neutral shades. Sort of on the sort of rosy side of neutral, but still up my alley. And then this one is the more bold shades. This one is absolutely beautiful. The top two rows are neutral. The bottom two rows give you more color this blue right here i cannot wait the only thing i do not like about these palettes is that like you see the shade names on here now when you take that plastic sheet off the shade names come off so what i normally do is just take it off and stick it to the mirror but if you want you can throw it out because all the names are on the back of the palettes I feel like I am going to be probably doing looks with these palettes probably going to be doing a review of these palettes coming up um, everything else oh when I ordered from HB Beauty Bar they gave me a single from um, Crown Pro which I guess is the um, same people that do crown brushes and it is a black eyeshadow and it is called Best Damn Black. So it better be the Best Damn Black. Let's see. It already doesn't really look black black to me. But that is the shadow. I'm going to swatch it real quick. It's really smooth. But. It doesn't come off black. It comes off gray. So I wouldn't call that the Best Damn Black. But oh well. Um. Everything else that I'm going to show you comes from Ulta. And I got a couple of things from ColourPop. I got a couple of things from Juvia's Place, from e.l.f. We will jump right in. The one thing that I got from e.l.f. I am going to give credit. So we, I'm not going to say blame. I will give credit to Colette the lady find here on YouTube and that is the elf putty eye primer I picked it up in sand I cannot wait to see how this works because I was using the um, urban decay caffeine eyeshadow primer and I can't find that thing anywhere anymore so I can't wait to use that <clears throat> and see how that works oh um, the next thing that I picked up is from Revolution or Makeup Revolution. It is a blush. It is their Blusher Reloaded in the shade Rose Kiss. I'm looking for like a neutral everyday sort of drugstore blush. So we are going to try this. And I will just kind of swatch over it. And it looks like that. I think that is a pretty good neutral everyday blush. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you is that I just picked up a um, butter gloss from NYX and I picked it up in the shade Ginger Snap, which looks like that. Nice, neutral, everyday lip gloss. I picked up from ColourPop um, one of their lip crayons. I think it's, it's new. It's called Just a Tint Lip Crayon. And I picked it up in the shade City of Stars. And... I'll take it out it looks like this I tried to get as neutral a color as I could I am actually going to swatch that on my hand 
and it looks like that. Not too bad. We'll see. Also from ColourPop, I had seen someone review this and I wanted to try it. It is the ColourPop Fresh Face Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. And that is what the, um, the box looks like. And this is what the setting spray looks like. And if I'll bring it a little bit closer, I think you can see like the, the writing on it. It's very pretty. Um, this is a plastic bottle but it is very hard like nice plastic you can't like squeeze it really easily but this is how many ounces this is 3.72 ounces I was going to say four ounces so we're going to try that and I heard you could use it to like um, before your makeup to sort of refresh your face while you put your makeup on and you can also use it to set your foundation afterwards this one says shake well hold six to eight inches away from face close eyes and mist directly onto skin use after makeup or mist throughout the day as needed so i like the fact that it has hyaluronic acid in it good for aging skin um the next things i picked up were the little mini palettes from juvia's place i picked up the chocolates and let me open them up real quick to show you. So this is what the chocolates looks like. Oh, really, really pretty. I can see a nice chocolate smoky eye with this one. And then um, I picked up the violets and this is what this packaging looks like i'm responding to my sister my sister is texting me asking me if sephora sells a juvia's place ash yellow palettes i'm like nope gotta go to ulta um this is the violets palette and this is what the violet shadows look like this is absolutely gorgeous and i can't wait to dig into it i think this is what my sister is talking about because i put a picture of this on instagram the other day and she saw it and her favorite color is purple so i am almost sure that she's going to go and pick this palette up and the last thing so this is a little like a mini haul the last thing i picked up um I had to pick up this goes back to my era when I was growing up and thank you Milani for bringing my era back <laughs> but they have a collab with salt and pepper so I had to pick up one of the the lip kits it has a matte lipstick and a lip liner in it and I got it in the shade let me turn it that way shoot and that's sort of a I think they call it like a 90s you need call a 90s universal nude lip. And, uh, I think I opened it upside down, but I'll show you what they look like. I will swatch them for you, but it comes in this nice black packaging and it'll say Milani on that side. And then when you turn it, you have the salt and pepper logo. Come on. Don't don't focus on my face there you go the salt and pepper logo excuse my dry hands um i will swatch these for you this is what the lipstick looks like and i will swatch it and it looks like that and i just nicked it with my hand i hate messing up my um lipsticks i hate even using them for the first time so that is the lipstick and this is the understatement lip liner also in the shade shoop and we'll just swatch that on the top oh yes i like that they are two different colors because you kind of want to accent your lipstick so that is the lip liner and lipstick matte lipstick combo i cannot wait to use these i'm excited 
that's it you all that is my little mini haul um i will probably definitely be doing videos on the juvia's place palettes and the la girl palettes i might be doing a video on this elf primer so look out for some videos coming out for me thank you all so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup bye